thought all the works was finished and then discovered this. My handy work has uh, not been as handy. Not what you want to see after fitting a radiator. Right, Dad's hard at work here, doing a bit of fabricating. So Dad is fabricating the way there like a madman, and I, that was. And I am going to head down in the Kubota and get some more parts that I have for the 390T. And what else do I got parts for? No, just 390T. So I'm going to bring those up, put them in, and put them in a little storage bit that I'm going to make up here. So we'll get that done. Oh, there's my 390T reconditioned radiator. Spoke to the mechanic who's working on the 1200 and asked him, you know, what's better, buy a new radiator or just recondition the one you have? He said, recondition the one you have, it'll be more expensive, but it's a far better job apparently, according to him, and he would probably know, because the new radiators that they're having, they're getting these days are like paper. That was his description. And he said, reconditioned, a bit more expensive. I think uh, it's probably about 100 quid in it, which is a fair amount, to be fair. Um, but yeah, reconditioned versus new. Reconditioned's a better job. So there you go. Along with many other bits and bobs stuck in there. Right, parts loaded on. Let's go drop them off. In the red shed. Don't we'll need them for the 390T and the 165, because remember both radiators went on me. Also, the, you didn't see the 165 radiator there, but it's already up there, but got the, the 165 radiator repaired. What actually happened was it cracked at the little header, not the header tank, but the top of the radiator, I don't know what you call that, probably the tank part. Uh, yeah, there was a little crack formed in there, and that's why it was leaking. Of leaks, more leaks and wheels. Right, this is what you this is what you call a Kubota load of parts, right? So, loads of stuff in here. Back end oil for the 90 T, engine oil for the 90 T, and hydraulic oil. Uh, sorry, gear oil for the 90 T, seat for the 135, paint for the 390 T, air filter for the 90 T, clean oil filler can. Lots of filters for 390T and other tractors. Uh, top and bottom hoses for the radiators for the 390T and the 165. Some spotlights in there. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Struts for the rear window of the 6265. Oh, and another filter and gasket for the 390T. No, there's also a seat for the 1200, not in there. Uh, that's a lot of parts. So start now, put it all together. Hmm, this will take a while. Anyway, let's get stuck into that. Right, there you go, there's the 165 radiator. Um, apparently it was leaking in here somewhere, if you can see. No, correction, it was leaking here. So they uh, resealed that again there. I don't know how they must do it. They solder or weld it. But that should be, that radiator good to go back in again. And the 165 come back online just in time to be on the hay bob. That'll be the plan with that. There we go, three bungs out, oils 
draining out of the tractor. Engine oil, gearbox oil, and back end oil over in there. was to stick these two air filters in and they're actually not that bad to be fair but looking at this starting to corrode starting to corrode in here starting to rust here so let's either replace it or clean it up with a wire brush and give it a wee bit of a paint and I think that's probably what I'll do so get the little mechanical wire brush going, give it a bit of a touch up and then we'll stick it in when the paint dries. So that's the plan with that. There we go, there's a little bit of black sprayed on the uh, the old uh, air filter casing. So uh, that's it, let it let it dry there, get a couple of coats on it. And, oh, sorry, a couple of coats is on it, and that's it, uh, be ready to go on. The oil is in, all the oils are in now. The radiator's in, water in the radiator and antifreeze. Just need to see how she goes. So now is the time to Give her a little spin over, see if she starts. Uh, please God, no bubbles in the radiator. Right, there we go. So, radiator is in. Uh, tractor was running there. No oil leaks, so if we can see. Uh, no water leaks, thank God. No bubbles in the radiator. And she's on the charge. Everything done, just need the uh, air filter to dry and the bonnets to be painted and they can go on. And that will be her back at work. So thought all the works was finished and then discovered this. So that's when I have to come out now and take the wheel off. Take this hub well, we'll take this hub thing off here. I hate the whole hub Right and then that lets you into that then. Does that axle slide out? Yes. No, oh, does it doesn't? Right. 
Right, okay. Right, so what you just saw there was where in the uh, little, I call it a little hardy spicer, it's just slamming around in there, it's no good, that won't work. Thought we had all the stripping done and we're just about to, well, we finished all the rebuilding and then we discovered that. And we only discovered that because we were putting fresh oil into the uh, hubs. So there's oil in the hubs, both hubs there, and then oil in the, uh, the gearbox here. Uh, so, or the depth, I should say. So, we discovered that now. We're gonna have to take the wheel off and take this, this whole sort of thing off here, take it out, put a new one of those in, our little hardy spicer, and uh, yeah. While Dad has been working on the uh, 390T, I've been beavering away here uh, on the 165. So I've got the radiator in, uh, all the hoses are connected up. Top and bottom hoses connected up. The radiator's full of water and antifreeze. Now, so we're ready to spin her over and get her started. And check for uh, check for leaks and things like that. So uh, hopefully, we are alright. Here. Looks like my handiwork has uh, not been as handy. So I'm gonna have to take that off again. The bollocks. Not what you want to see after fitting a radiator. So it's a good job I didn't put all the panels back on again. My bottom hose is leaking and I, I don't know why that's leaking there, but it is. Anyway. Take it off again. Got a hand? Hey, hold on. Right, one six five crisis over. I no, I can't really see what we're going this way. So this little dude here, uh, I just is it still leaking? Hmm, it is. It is bollocks. I thought I had that fixed, but I don't. Uh, that is annoying. Okay. There we go, so 
It has not been a great day today, I have to say. So this hardy spicer here is worn. We've got that out now. Uh, well, that's doing in there, but anyway. Um, so we've got that out now, and we'll get a replacement for that. Okay, so annoyingly, 165 reader is back out again. Couldn't get that leak to stop. Got it to stop, but it was just a tiny drip, which makes me think that this little outlet here, the bottom here, may be leaking. I may have damaged it putting it in, I don't know. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put the, the old bottom hose on and, clip, and clamp it closed and we'll see if it leaks water. Uh, feeling that, I might just take it back to Radiator Man again to test it. I don't want to put it all back together. It's actually quite easy to get out. It's only four, six nuts or six bolts comes out and slides out. But to put all the bottom all back on again, it's fast. So I'm going to test Radiator now myself and see uh, that bottom out there is leaking. You what we're up to. So rigged up just a connection between the two. I'm going to fill it with water and pressurize it and see if it's leaking down here. I think what actually happened is it's a mechanical error in that I had this too close and it wasn't making a proper seal if you know what I mean. Um, my dad looked at it he said I think you're that too close there. Uh, and it should have been back here. I think that's what happened. But I have it out now. I'm going to test it. We, we have a little pressure tester. We'll test the radiator and make sure it's just not leaking at the bottom. But I don't think it is. I think it's inexperienced by the installer. That would be the best way of describing what happened. Frustrating that you you know put the radiator in and then you have to take it all back out again. Granted, it's six bolts puts it in. It's actually quite easy. It just slides down into that reel there. It's not there. So, um, yeah, I think it's just bad mechanical on my part or lack of experience. So, but how do you get experience? You got to do these jobs. You got to learn from your mistakes. You got to make mistakes. Um, that was my mistake today. So, I think so. I think the radiator is fine. I. I would be surprised if it was leaking. As I say, I think it's user error. It was me putting it in, just didn't do it properly. If Dad had been supervising, he was busy in the D90T, he would have spotted that, but he was way over there. He can't be doing this at once. So, yeah. So anyway, we'll fill it with water, test it, make sure it's not leaking. If it's not leaking, it's going back in again. bit of water spilt when I was filling the radiator so it's hard to tell if that's leaking in there but I don't think it is I think we're good to go are back from the 90T panels that is 
are back from sandblasting. And I actually got these done with a local lad, uh, Sam Scott, sandblasting up Valamina direction. And he's done a super job and he did that. I took them up to him yesterday, did them yesterday, and I have them back today. That's the efficiency for you. Now, this is the wee bits need to repair here. You can see the, uh, I think I showed you that earlier, but this is gonna have to cut this out now. Put in a whole new bit in here. See on the other side as well. There's the other panel. That's actually all right, just needs rubbed down. That's in behind the, but you can see, you see the pit, the pittedness on the uh, top panel there. So, um, and then there's the other two side panels. But yeah, so a great job by uh, Sam Scott, I have to say. So they're ready, we're going to start getting stuck into them. Right, Dad's hard at work here, doing a bit of fabricating, cutting out the rusty bits and making new bits. So we'll leave them at it. If I bet to do there, stay with that. Right, Dad has the bonnet welded up, which is a great job. Just need to cut out the little slot for the uh, for the hinge. That's that side. And is that set into there? Yeah, great job. That's that mark then ready for cutting. Cutting and drilling. Cutting and drilling, right. Right, there is the bonnet. Repairs are done. That is made that section for in there, welded it in. Welded that in. That's it ready to go now for another undercoat and finish coat. Same on this side. Let's weld that in there and cut that out for the hinge. Yep, yeah, that's that's it. Ready to go. Right, nearing completion. Exhaust is on now, the right way. We had it tilted to the side, but actually should be facing forward. So, got it, if you can see it there. It's facing forward. Panels are all on and tight. And Dad made these little, these were never on here before, but he's made these little uh, uh, bonnet stays here. Uh, keep the bonnet up. I. Never lay on there, so he's made that great job. Keep the bonnet up, just clicks in there. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'll let you see what she looks like. Finished. Right there you go. There's a better look at uh, Dad made these little um, bonnet stays here. As I say, they were they were never on there, so that's a great job. And they just click up automatically. The new air filter on, all new filters on, date on it, and new uh, air filter top. So, um, yeah, looks good. Right, there we go. That is the 390T done. Uh, new paint and decals and uh, you saw me spray the front there uh, I never got to change the light I have to change that light sorry it's that light I have to do that little job yet 
But essentially, that's she has to go back to Siley's today, so she can come in later on and get that done. But she's going to row Siley's, so uh, there you go. That is the 390T. Uh, shut the door. T ready to rumble and get back to work. That is the 390T back online, red bits resprayed, looking good and could do with a set of tires of course but that's a story for another day. But she's going on the rake today so she's going back to work. We're going to be silent. That'll be another video, by the way. But yeah, so there you go. That is the 390T. Works complete and all done. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of videos on the 390T. Uh, that's it for this week. Take care. Bye bye.